Look at the chunk of chunkness in this. <laughs> The sheer size of this thing just won't fit on my life. <laughs> now that has got to be the biggest burr I've ever seen. Um, I picked this up from eBay and it was one of those purchases. You look at something, we've all done it, and it looks like about this big <laughs> on the pictures. I sort of looked at it, I thought that'd be quite cool. It's quite big, be quite nice. I was kind of expecting it to turn up about this size, maybe sort of like this round. When the thing turned up, I was just like, what is that? <laughs> it's massive. I mean, it's this big and it's like that round. It's not gonna fit on my leg. Well, like that it anyway. So I'm gonna have to chop this up a little bit. I don't even know even by chopping it up that it's gonna fit on the lathe. We'll have to see, but, hmm. <laughs> so there it is. Look at the size of it. So what I was thinking is, I just having a look around it, um, and it's got a big hole in here. There's a big hole in there, and I thought that we could fill that with resin. So I thought maybe we try and chop it off, sort of, I don't know, here-ish. Well, that's better. It's actually quite a nice piece of wood this is. I'm actually not too sure. I'll have to look at what I bought, but I can't remember what type of wood it is. But you can see that it looks quite nice inside there. It's got some really nice features and nice grain in there. And I think that filled up with resin is gonna be pretty neat. So it's got quite a hole in there. Look at the size of the hole in there. So it's, it's gonna need a chunk of resin. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Project, we're going to use some of these new vivid colour tints that I've got from Entropy Resins. So, not too sure which colour to use yet, but let us begin. Now, I do like a bit of purple. So, we've got the purple, we got the yellow, we have some white, bit of green, bit of black, and some red. Oh, we've got some more colours over here as well. Turquoise, snowy peaks, lavender hills, flamingo, pink, Caribbean blue, and fresh apricot. Um, decisions, decision. I'm kind of liking this apricot colour. I might chuck some of that in. Another load in there. I reckon one more pull. We should get this nailed. Oh, oh. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm hoping it's gonna look pretty funky. Okay, so this is what we've got at the moment. Uh, had a bit of a leak, and I don't really want to show you the leak, but basically, I filled this right up to the top, as you may have seen on the video. Um, and the whole thing just leaked out everywhere. I tried to plug it with some paper towels. <laughs> uh, that didn't work. It just went everywhere, all over the floor, a whole lot. My fault, didn't really seal it up properly. Um, so that's just resemblance, resemblance, res remembrance, remembrance. What's the word? 
That is what's left <laughs> uh, of the paper towel. I just basically sanded it off. So I've got to fill this back up. So I think I just might seal it up a different way. However, um, I'm looking at the resin that we've got in here and it's a bit ghastly. Um, the colour that I've put in here is mixed in. So we had orange, I think, and white. And now we've just got sick. Broken! Basically. <laughs> we've just got <laughs> sick soup. <laughs> um, which I don't really think is going to turn out very nice, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know why that it's mixed like that. I was kind of hoping for like swells of orange and swells of white, which I thought would look really cool. So uh, I don't really know why it didn't mix very well. Um, odd. So what I'm thinking about doing is, because we're not going to get into the whole of this thing, because I'm thinking about maybe trying to make this into some kind of an ornamental thing, maybe like an egg shape or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe we will make it into a vase or something. I don't know. But initially what I might do is I might try to just take a little a scoop out of here with my sander so that we can infill it with a little bit of a different colour resin. That's my thinking anyway. <laughs> Right, there you go. So I've just taken a little bit of a chunk out of there. And then what we're going to do now is fill this up with a different type of resin. Just need to really seal this so that no resin leaks. Um, we're going to go with just probably, I don't know, a couple of colours, but I might mix up the colours this time um, and try and add a bit of swirl in there if I can get that, because that just doesn't, doesn't really do it for me. Okay, this time I'm gonna use some powders instead, just to see if I can get that kind of swirly kind of separation within the resin. Right, look at this. Now that <clears throat> looks a lot better. It's kind of like fire in there. Woohoo! It's hot. Woo! <laughs> so the only thing I'm worried about is obviously the bit that we mixed up before, which kind of I mixed up wrong. It looks, I don't know, well, it obviously looks pretty weird. Um, it's not really quite what I was kind of expecting. Um, so. But I'll leave that for now. What I'll do is get this on the lay, see what we can make from it. Um, no idea yet, but <clears throat> we can contend with that a bit later. But I'm thinking we're going to lose all these really nice bits of burr, so I might chop these off.
Right, so you can see now we're getting a little bit of better shape out of this. It was winky, wonky, and all over the place. And, uh, yeah, it was driving me nuts, really. So, uh, but now we're getting somewhere. Um, and this, this wood's going to come out really nice, actually. There's some really fantastic features in this, and I think this is going to look beautiful. We might fill some of this with resin. I don't know yet, but we might leave that as it is. I'm not too sure yet. There's that resin. We've still got to cut into that yet. I don't know what we're going to do yet, whether that's going to be, I don't know. Could be a vase or it could be maybe just some sort of ornament. I'm undecided. <laughs> um, and there's our kind of other colour there. That might be all right, actually, when we start cutting into that. It might be OK. But uh, let's keep going and see what we end up with. Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be weird. So we can see now, obviously, the different colours that we've uh, got in here. I have to do, obviously, a couple of pours uh, with this um, piece. So obviously, there's the first pour, second, <laughs> third, and fourth. Um, so we've got a mixed bag of sort of colours in there. They haven't really mixed overly well. I don't really know what I think of it <laughs> at this stage. It's a little bit strange. Um, and although we like strange, this is strange in a weird way. Sasha. It kind of looks a bit like a gateau. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit weird. It's sort of like a cake. <laughs> um, I was going to chop it out, but then as this came through kind of quite yellow, and then you've got this, which is, I don't know, white, <laughs> misty white. Um, and then you've got the red in it. I think that actually it looks all right. It just looks like, well, a lollipop. 
A big one. Big lollipop, anyone? Um, well, it kind of wasn't what I was expecting it to be. It's not finished yet, but I can sort of get an idea of what it's going to be looking like. But it's not finished yet. I've hollowed it out as much as I can do. Do? As much as I can do. Um, it comes down to about here. I mean, you know, that's good enough. I can't get all the way down there, unfortunately. Um, so, um, yeah, let's get this finished, polished up, and she will be done. You do know I wasn't aiming for a big lollipop in the first place, don't you? Yeah, it's a lollipop vase. Well, that certainly wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> um, but as you know, with my projects, I never know what I'm gonna make and- You never know what you're gonna get. This uh, was kind of supposed to be just one color. Um, and obviously I did a couple of pours and each time I've obviously got the mixture wrong. And uh, Rather than it kind of being a bit like the top one there, which is quite nice. Um, probably still a bit more orange. Well, actually, no, it's all right, actually. Um, but I, I was kind of going for that sort of effect inside and it's sort of come out one solid color. <laughs> and then again, um, and then again. We've ended up with kind of one of those sort of, well, the only way I can really describe it is a lollipop. You might have a few other names for it, but please, Keep them polite, because I know what some of you might be thinking. Um, it's not the best project in the world. Didn't think it was worthy of a number, <laughs> this one. So I put in my little baby emblem in the bottom there. So there we go, folks. What do you reckon? Do you like it? If you did, please could you share this video? Uh, comment below, give us a thumbs up. I know some of you are not gonna like it. It is a bit strange. But we do strange on this channel, if you didn't notice. Derek. There is only one of these in the world. <laughs> but you know, you can store some stuff in it, some, you know, dried flowers or something. I'm not too, 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 too. I'm not sure if you could put water in it, because although the resin will be fine, there is wood in there as well, and I think that it wouldn't really like that. So there we have it. Happy days. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me on the channel. I really appreciate all of your help and support on helping me build this channel. It's been absolutely overwhelming. I just want to say thank you to all. Uh, thank you to everyone and welcome to all my new subscribers. And obviously, thanks to all my old ones for sticking around, as always. Please don't forget to check out all the links below where I get my resin from, my Instagram where I post lots of teaser kind of pictures, things going on in the workshop which you might be interested in. You might get a few videos, you even might get a few selfies. I also have a personal Instagram where I've got another channel where I do a bit of blogging on my cars, holidays, and just my life really. If you're interested, there's a link below for that too. Don't forget, Makers Central is on, and we are about seven, eight weeks from the show. Is it about eight weeks? Around about that. These stickers will be free in your gift bag when you turn up at the door, so don't miss your sticker. We also have some new funky hoodies which will be on the merch stand if you're interested. 
Grab a ticket to this show, folks. It's going to be absolutely epic. Also, check out the Maker Central members area. Some fantastic benefits in there. You can check out some of our partners who have offered some exclusive discounts on some of their products. Well, I hope you like this one, folks, because I didn't. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stick around. I've got some really funky things happening in the workshop. You are going to love them. <laughs> and they're going to really funk this place right up. So look out for those. Have a fantastic, super fragilastic, this Biala docious, no idea why I said that, weekend. And I'll see you all really soon. Toodle pip.